Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel. And if you like beauty videos, 31 days of Halloween and Friday vlogs, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my makeup family. With all that being said, let's jump right into this video. Hello, my loves. So today I'm going to be ranking my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes from my least favorite to my favorite. Now, Mel Thompson did do a video on hers and I was like, oh, I should definitely do a video on mine. So shout out to Mel Thompson for this video. And I also did a ranking of my Huda Beauty um, eyeshadow palettes. And I think this is a good way to rank your eyeshadow palettes because it really makes you look at the palettes you have and which ones you use the most out of your collection. So in my Anastasia Beverly Hills collection, I do have seven eyeshadow palettes. So the first one here I'm going to start off with is number seven, my least favorite. Now at the time when I used this palette, I really did enjoy it. I did have difficulties with it when I created the first look because I used to use like the tape to just line it up to make everything line up and that. And when I used the tape with this palette, when I took it off, it was just terrible. I don't know what it was, but when I did it a second time, it turned out beautiful. Now I know a lot of people had a lot of issues with this palette and it's the subculture palette. This is number seven on my list. For the simple fact, because I used it a few times and I really didn't have a problem with it. Um, I do love the color story behind this palette. I think it's very beautiful, very gorgeous for the fall. But unfortunately, I used it a few times after that video and I never touched it again. And I'm still not touching this palette. So this is why this one here ranks at number seven. I love the color story. You know, the first time I used it, it didn't work so well. The second time I used it, worked nice and I really enjoyed it. Love the look that I actually created with the palette, but unfortunately I just don't reach for this one anymore. I bought this palette when it came out, fell in love with the color story, fell in love with a certain color in this palette, but unfortunately I don't even use it. Haven't even swatched it, haven't even done anything with it. And I feel so bad because it's such a beautiful, beautiful palette. And this one here is the Prism palette. I love the velvet. I just love the black and the gold. It's so, so classy looking. The colors in here are gorgeous. As you could see, I have not used this palette. That is bad and I should be using it. I bought it for that, of course, neon green shade in here because I love neon green. The shades in here are gorgeous. The storyline is beautiful. I really should actually start using this palette but I just didn't reach for it. And I don't know why I, I fell in love with it when I seen it, but then when I got it home, I just sat there and I really don't understand why I never really picked up this palette. So for those reasons, this palette does fall on number six on my list. So number five on my list, you're probably all wondering which one is number five. The packaging on this palette is beautiful. The colors in here are gorgeous but out of the palette, I only use two shades, unfortunately. And this is the Sultry palette. This palette is beautiful. The color story behind it is gorgeous. Once again, as you could tell, the shades that I use the most are only two shades out of the palette, which is fresh right here, which is this beautiful, like light nude shade and twig, which is right here, which is this gorgeous taupey shade. And I really love how those two shades apply to the lids. They blend so gorgeous. So here's Twig and here is Fresh. And Fresh is just the perfect, like soft nude shade to really set the base for your eyeshadows. And then Twig, like I said, it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous nude taupey shade. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful shade just all over the lid. That's the only two colors out of this palette that I use. And I really need to start using them more often because I do love Anastasia's formula of her eyeshadows. I think they're so beautiful. Her eyeshadow palettes in general are just so gorgeous to look at. But like I said, that's the reason why this one here is number five on my list because those are the only two shades that I grab for. And just to let you guys know that every single brush that comes in these palettes, I actually hold on to because I really love the dual ended brushes in these palettes. 
they're really great quality brushes. So just a shout out to the brushes. So number four on my list, I really love this palette. When I seen like the sneak peeks about it, I was like, okay, I knew I had to get it in my collection because I am such a big fan of Alyssa Edwards. I actually seen her perform here in St. John's and it was just amazing. She actually touched my hand. I will never forget that moment. And of course, this is number four on my list, which is the Anastasia and Alyssa Edwards collaboration. This eyeshadow palette is beautiful. Of course, it matches my pink backdrop just love it. The shades in here are so fun and bold. There's the brush. Love the brush. <laughs> but here are the shadows here. And I'm after using this quite a lot. I actually did a full look on this too. And I did something very, very different. I went in with the Dream It shade and Brick Road. And I did something so different that I normally never do. I really love the shadows in here. I think they're so fun, especially for the summertime. This is a palette that I grab for for the summertime because it's so bold and colorful. But yet then you have your four like beautiful neutral shades over here and you can create like an everyday look with this palette. But if you are afraid of color and you're like, ooh, this scares me, you know, pass on it. And I don't even think you could get it anymore. I do believe it was a limited edition. But all in all, the shadows in here are just so much fun and colorful and bold. And the pigmentation is there. So this one here is number four on my list. Number three on my list is the Riviera palette. Love the packaging. I love all the packaging of all these palettes, obviously. <laughs> but this palette here is beautiful. I love all the matte shades in this palette. You could create so many looks from day to night with this palette. It just gives you a variety of everything in this palette. The pigmentation's there, the quality's there. The shade that I really love the most is Cans, of course, because I love, love purple eyeshadows. I'm just a purple eyeshadow fanatic. And how this one blends is beautiful it's so so gorgeous on the lid it's just an all-around beautiful beautiful purple shadows and i also love the shade bahamas right here which is this gorgeous gorgeous pink shade and this one here just pops on the lid so much and once again the quality is there how it blends is there the pigmentation is there it's just an all-around beautiful palette but i love it because you have a whole entire row of matte shadows just an all-around beautiful palette so this one here is number three on my list now we're getting down to the last two and you're like oh my goodness which one's going to be the second one and which one's going to be the first and it's like you're probably thinking of the one that's going to be the first and you're probably thinking it's not going to be the first. It's kind of hard to figure it out. But number two on my list. This here was my holy grail of holy grail of holy grail eyeshadow palettes. I love this palette so, so much. And I used it so, so much. And then I stopped using it. But then I picked it up and started using it again. So what one am I talking about? I am talking about the Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. This palette here was my first ever Anastasia eyeshadow palette and I fell in love with it. It's after getting such good use over the time that I've had this palette. As you can see all the shades have a very big dent in them. Um, Tempra is like complete pan completely because this here was my favorite shade all over the lid and Bone Frisco is a beautiful beautiful like mauve tone purple shade this palette here was my holy grail palette for such a long time the mattes in here are beautiful like the shimmer shades are gorgeous as well like it's just an all-around gorgeous gorgeous palette and i used it for such a long time and then i stopped using it but i've recently started to pick it up and start using it again and you know something i love it just as much as the first day i got this palette so this one here Falls number two on my list and the number one eyeshadow palette out of all my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes is are you ready for it can you guess which one it is it is the Norvina palette oh this palette purple 
just speaks to me. When I seen this palette, I knew I had to get it. The shadows in here are gorgeous. Every single one of them are beautiful. The pigmentation, the quality, how they blend, how they apply, how they just make your eyes look is just beautiful. This palette, oh, I love this shade right here, which is called Wild Child, and it's just gorgeous. Like, look at this. It is so pretty. And I also love this shade right here, which is called Soul. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous purple shade, like such a beautiful lavender shade. These shadows here, oh, they're like a dream. And they blend out gorgeous, of course. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful palette. Like, there are the shades there, Sold and Wild Child. Really hope that my camera's picking it up on the flex of Wild Child because it has such a beautiful, like, has this, like, pink and, like, purple kind of shift to it. And it's just all around gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Also, I love the shade right here. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I also love this shade right here, which is called Dazzling. Ooh, this is like, it is so soft and it's just beautiful. And it's just like a very sultry eyeshadow, just all around gorgeous. I use this a lot, like a lot. And as you can tell, it looks like it's in rough shape because I use this palette quite a lot. So this one here is number one on my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. So you guys, there you go. There is the ranking of my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. I really love Anastasia brand so, so much. I think the quality of her products are amazing. And when I took my whole collection and looked at it, and I'm like, okay, which ones do I really use the least and which ones do I use the most? And you just look at it and you're like, whoa, okay. So now I feel that my Prism palette, where it hasn't gotten any love, I really should take that palette, put it over on my makeup vanity and start using it because I feel like that palette really needs some love because I haven't used it. Let me know in the comments down below which Anastasia eyeshadow palette is your favorite, which one is your least favorite, and also let me know, do you guys regret not buying a limited edition palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills that you wish you had to get? Let me know in those comments down below. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.